Hey guys, it's Sean and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with y'all. So here in Toronto, our Dollar Trees are $1.25 per item. So the first item we're looking at is this bag. It's a very nice light gray color with these kind of geometric diamond shaped patterns throughout it. It is a nice thick plastic material. I grabbed this because I didn't want a regular shopping bag and I wanted something small that I can carry my books in to go to the library. So that's why I grabbed that bag. So let's take a look at the items inside. I'm just going to pull things out. So this first item I'm super excited to find it finally. This is an alphabet puzzle but they are foam pieces. These are great just for doing the alphabet as a basic puzzle. But they also stick in your bathtub, so you can make learning fun time in the bathtub as well. So I picked up those. Up next is another workbook. <laughs> this one is Animals. It has 80 stickers. It's just, uh, here's all the stickers, and there's different little activities. Like this one is place the butterflies and then count how many there is of the different ones. And then there's the little maze, and this is like where's the missing puzzle piece go. Super cute item. I have these little animals. I think I have six of them. I'm not sure, but I'm going to show those at the end. Up next is, well, pull these first. These are just a basic pair of red socks, but they have white maple leaves on them. Now these are, it says women's socks. I picked them up for my son. Um, he is like for Canada's Day, he'll be wearing this part of his outfit. When he wears these types of socks, they're usually like knee high length on him, which is perfectly fine. So grab those for Canada's Day, which is coming up soon. I can't believe I finally found this item. People have been hauling this item for as long as I've been watching these videos for like a few years now. This is one of those inflatable globes. So super excited to finally have our own. This is going to be perfect when we start doing some geography lessons. You can just toss it up and wherever his finger lands, I can say the name of the country for him or if it lands on the ocean. Great, super great find. I saw this on the purple alphabet, so I had to get one for us to try out. This is like a water squirter, so if, um, I like these ones because it's not shaped like a gun, like most of those water guns are. This one you pull out and suck up the water, and then you squeeze it back in to shoot out the water. So I'm super excited to try that out. What else do we have in here? Oh yes, this item. This is a really nice puzzle this is 24 pieces and it's just basic numbers but each number has like the item there so like there's nine butterflies and like six little cars there so just a great little puzzle uh, for counting and plus it's more complex type of puzzle it does say three plus but my son is two and we work on these types of puzzles together and I like these ones that are in the frame they're easier to pack in his like uh, busy bag so super great find I'm also glad to finally get one of these every time I go to Dollar Tree or Dollarama I always forget to pick up one of their baking pans this is just a basic baking pan but I wanted to get this one because they are magnetic so that's one um, for one activity I have planned for him and the other reason I wanted it is because he really likes that um, sand stuff um, I can't think of the proper name right now but it's a uh, collapsible sand that you can squeeze together and then when you release it um, hold on I'm just gonna go check the name of it that's a kinetic sand. Anyways, he, uh, my son really likes kinetic sand. I do let him play with it on this basic table, which then it does go on our carpet, which kind of makes a mess. So I thought getting one of these kind of trays, he can do it more in the tray and it maybe may not make a mess, but he knows how to vacuum. So he's pretty good at uh, vacuuming up things himself. Did I show this item? I'm not sure. I think I pulled this item when I pulled out the socks, but these are four hooks. So they're storage hooks. I was gonna try these hooks. Nothing seems to work in our walls because they're solid concrete basically. Um, even like drilling into them, we've broken drill bits before. I wanna hang up, my son's got one of those scoot bikes that doesn't have pedals. So I wanna hang these up and then see if I can hang the bike off of it. I don't know, we'll try it out. Now this item, I've never seen this item on anybody's haul, I don't think. These are really cool stickers. 
it says building block stickers so you can add them to your building blocks and then have like little stores and restaurants but what i was thinking is doing is um getting some small little cardboard boxes or those little like gift boxes from the dollar store and then having my son paint them whatever color he wants and then sticking these fun stickers on them so i'm just going to open up the pack and show you all the different stickers that comes in here so here's the first one here this one's like barber shop it's got some cute little cats uh, some lamps and a bench this one's cute it says books and there's like a little staircase and some dogs and some little bricks a bicycle umbrella or oh, actually a hot dog stand sorry <laughs> uh, this one says bakery cafe there's like a little menu pizza laundry that would be cute just to make little shops for when he's doing his open-ended play and his blocks and he can use his little cars and people and have his own little stores for them so this is like the last one the ice cream and flower shop super adorable stickers i think if i go again i will grab another package of these that was a great find now i do celebrate pride um i have a friend that uh, belongs to that community so every year we make a piece of artwork my son and i just you know to show our support so i picked up these letters there's 50 in each package so i was hoping to do um pride and then on another one that my i'm gonna get my son to paint is like love is love no matter you know what so um use these little stickers and just fun um stickers are always a great fine motor activity so i got those for upcoming pride month these are, i was also happy to get these are 15 little reward um they say large room decor but i thought i could use these as little rewards for my son i am still working on this potty training he's almost two and a half it's not happening so i thought if i can get him to sit on the toilet and then if he sits there long enough i can maybe just give him one of these and then if he actually pees i can write his name on it and the dates and just a little something fun for him i'd be trying the sticker method that hasn't really worked so this is something different so you get um 15 of them so three of um there's five and there's three designs so this was super wow and amazing so super cute hopefully that will help us out <laughs> uh what else do we have in this bag oh yes i have one of these this is i was a great find too i thought this is like a little memory game there's 24 tiles and it's just pick up pairs so a memory game and this one is like sports theme which i've never seen anything like that before you can see some golf baseball basketball super fun i also picked up the dinosaur one because i know my son would probably like the dinosaur one the best so again pick up pairs 24 memory game now this item i don't know how i'm going to use it yet um i do have um what is it it's an aloe vera plant now somehow it got like some bird seed i guess when they're putting out the window some bird seed got into it so i want to replant that and then uh hang this up somewhere so it's got its own little thing so i picked up this little cute item so we'll try to plant the aloe vera plant in there and i think the last items are all little animals so i'm going to pull them out and i'll show you all the ones i got so these are all the little animals i got um my son has a bunch of little fisher price animals he loves little animals and little toys like this he does a lot of open-ended play where he just makes up his own stories and uses his own imagination he likes dropping things like this down his like uh, slide so i thought these would be great when we're talking about the zoo animals so the first one here is the zebra super cute these are nice quality they're hard thick you know plastic great quality they're painted nicely too then i got the lion super cute that's my favorite animal besides the hippo i love hippos so i got the hippo really cute then we have his elephant because i knew i had to grab the elephant as well and then we have a giraffe and lastly the little tiger so these will be great for my sons like i said open-ended play imaginative play and language skills too so anyways thanks a lot for watching this haul i'll talk to you in my next video bye